Hi, the name of our next book is called The Great Garden Escape by Erica L. Clymer. The sun beams down in a fruit garden on this splendid day. Sally Strawberry and Billy Blueberry are ready to play. The best friends run through sprinklers on Raspberry Ridge. They climb Lime Hill and hop over Blackberry Bridge. Sally and Billy soon reach Mango Mountainside. The pair race to ride on the watermelon slide. Down they go, zooming faster and faster. Sally starts to worry, this might be a disaster. At the bottom, Billy yells, I can't stop! The two berries fly over Cherry Cliff Drop. They land on a pile of dirt down below in a place where all the vegetables grow. That was quite the fall, they suddenly hear. Sally and Billy see a squash standing near. How do we get home to Fruit Garden? asks Sally. The squash replies through a secret gate in the valley. There are 10 clues that will show you the way. Find and solve them by the end of today. The garden gate locks at sunset, you see. Harry, clue one swings over there in that tree. They thank the squash and to the tree they run, Sally and Billy read clue number one. We look like little trees, but instead of leaves, our florets blow in the breeze. Broccoli, correct, broccoli boondocks. The best friends skip past Radish Region's lot to investigate the broccoli growing spot. They search throughout Broccoli Boondocks and find clue two beneath a pile of rocks. If you come to our home, you won't know we're around. Our orange bodies grow tall just below the ground. Carrots, correct, Carrot County. Sally and Billy zip by the Turnip Town scenery on a mission to inspect Carrot County's greenery. They hop a carrot plant only to see a little ant carrying clue number three. You may call us spuds if you wish, but we'll be smashed, baked, or fried sitting on your dish. Potatoes, correct, potato plateau. Through the spears of asparagus, to rain they go to arrive on the grounds of Potato Plateau. Sally and Billy see Clue 4 and Squirm. It's surrounded by a giant brown worm. To solve this riddle, put your heads together. A piece of us is light as a feather. Lettuce, correct. Lettuce Neighborhood. In Brussels Sprouts Backwoods, they cautiously tread until Lettuce Neighborhood just up ahead. While strolling down Romaine Lane to Iceberg Pike, Sally and Billy see Clue 5 riding a bright red bike. We come together as a bunch. Break us apart and you'll hear a crunch. Celery. Correct, Celery Cove. They brush by giant leaves in Cauliflower Grove to play detectives in the land of Celery Cove. Just beyond a falling stalk, Clue 6 sits perched upon a rock. A cozy little pad is where we reside. We're collected, snap, snow, or even black-eyed. Peas, correct, park of peas. The pear steps through cucumber plants 
with ease while en route to the teeny park of Pete. Sally wonders, where could clue seven be? There it is, says Billy, resting below that tree. We can be tangy and a little bit sweet, or we can be spicy and too hot to eat. Peppers, correct, pepper place. A mushroom shouts, where are you going at such a fast pace? Sally calls out to find our next clue inside Pepper Place. Sally and Billy look left, right, and all around. They discover clue eight atop a dirt mound. Our first name is a mix of yellow and blue. Our last name is shared by Pinto, too. Green beans, correct, green bean jungle. The ears of corn look quite mystified as two berries scurry through their countryside. In green bean jungle, swinging vine to find, Sally and Billy capture clue number nine. I will not be mistaken for a yam. No sir, no ma'am, I am not a yam. Sweet potato, correct, sweet potato slope. When the two friends appear, the eggplants are aghast. Never have they ever seen berries move so fast. Sweet potato slope. Down sweet potato slope they roll to find clue 10 stuck in a hole. Hold your nose if you get near. Our strong smell makes eyes tear. Onions, correct, Onion Valley. Woohoo! We've solved all the clues, exclaimed Sally. The best friends high five and head for the valley. Sally and Billy climb Beats Summit Rubble. Onion Valley looks like nothing but trouble. They slowly descend into the valley and spot the gate down a dreary dark alley. The sun has almost set and the gate is all about to close. The pair runs as fast as they can while holding their nose. Sally and Billy just make it through and collapse to the ground with a phew. I'm happy to be back home, says Billy with a sigh. The best friends lay in fruit garden, staring up at the sky. Thank you for listening to our fun story.